Hello again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome back to Laughing Raven Studio. I'm Jeff Hendrickson, and we're going to get into step one now of creating this jacket. If you didn't already, you can get the files for this simply by becoming a user here. I am not a spammer, okay? <laughs> Let me say that up front. I'm not a spammer. I'm not taking your information to send you a whole bunch of crap. All I want to do is keep track of who's following me so that I know how I can do this better. I would love to have your comments on these videos um, to tell me how I'm doing, how you think these videos uh, work for you. If you can learn from these, great. Uh, that's fantastic. So uh, if you haven't taken a look at the first video yet, please do that. And if you want to sign up and grab these documents, you can have these things to work from and use these. Um, if you didn't watch the first document, Excuse me, if you didn't watch the first video, sorry about that. As you can tell, I'm not a professional speaker. I'm just starting to do this stuff. But I have been a designer for a very long time. I'm a graduate of uh, Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City. I've had the good fortune of working all around the world. And these documents are professional documents. They have been used at the factory level. And I'm putting them out there now. Um, I'd love to be able to help design students, uh, beginning designers, uh, to get off the ground fast. And using these things, I, I guess, can be very impressive. Uh, the factories that I've used them at have loved what these things do for their people because of the visual representation and how quickly they can assess and see what a garment really looks like. Okay, this is... I guess this is referred to as a technical flat. Okay, it's a flat because of the way you see it here. It's not done like a hand sketch. It's done just as a garment lying flat. Now, this part right here, the neck part right here, if this were done really, really true to form, this neck would be pushed down and this line would come this way and then down into here. Um, I've got other documents that that's on and uh, I'll post those too for you to take a look at. All right, so I've only got five minutes on each of these videos. I'm recording with Jing, so uh, let's get into this. I've given you the basic of what I started off with on this garment, okay? Uh, if you see the other document, and if you saw the first video, you saw that there were top stitch lines everywhere. Well, we're going to start getting into those top stitch lines right now by using the pen tool, okay? So, here are my tools that have just magically appeared. I've tried to tuck everything in here as tight as I can, okay? We're going to use the pen tool to start making the top stitch lines. Now, your lines you have to grab by the stroke. That's the first thing that you start your lines from. These outside lines right here I normally use for this size of a document either one point or point seven five, okay? And that's gotten right here. Point seven five, I believe is what I have on all these right now. But we don't need to set that. What we're going to set right now is point two five and we're going to create a dashed line. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 1.5, 1.5 so that I can show you and uh, we'll actually uh, alter some of those too so that you can see the differences. Top stitch lines can look a lot of different ways. They can look however you want. But the one thing that you do have to keep in mind is that the longer the top stitch line, in other words, the longer that the float on top goes, the, the more likely it is that that thing could get snagged somehow they're very ornamental, and you've probably seen them on garments before. They're very, very heavy, and sometimes they'll do a chain stitch on things like that. A couple of years ago, a really heavy, really widely spaced chain stitch was uh, very trendy and put on a lot of garments. So let's dive into this. We're creating a, a .25. We're going to keep the 1515. We can tuck this guy back in there again. We're going to grab the pen tool here. Uh, I think we're going to need to zoom in really quickly, so... Uh, Let's just get back out of that. Let's zoom in and let's start here on this shoulder. Okay, we've got our raglan sleeve shoulder here and we're going to create the top stitch. Okay, now actually there are two different ways. Let's start off with this way. Let's do this a different way. I'm going to grab my direct select tool. I'm going to grab a hold of that thing. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and I'm going to move it on this one. Okay, so copy C, F if you're on a Mac. You bump the thing out just a tiny little bit you come over here and then you change what it is the point two five you turn that into a dash line then you can move it back wherever you want you need to get it in tucked in a little bit tight that is lesson number one I'm sorry I'm out of time lesson two following right up will be very concise we'll do a lot of stuff thanks a lot see you on the next video Jeff Hendrickson Laughing Raven Studio <laughs>